Okay, police say Paul Apodaca last summer confessed to killing three very young women in the Albuquerque area in the 1980s. Now he has been indicted for Caitlin Arquette's murder. Here's a look. Nearly 33 years after Caitlin Arquette was murdered, Paul Apodaca has been indicted for the crime. ABD says in July 1989, Caitlin was driving up Lomas after leaving a friend's house when she was shot in the head. Her car crashed, hitting a light pole. Police say Apodaca was at that crime scene. APD says last summer he confessed to killing her and two other young women decades ago. In this case, Mr. Apodaca admitted to three different murders. The first one was Althea Oakley. The second one was Caitlin Arquette. And the third was 13-year-old Stella Gonzalez. Police tell me in all the cases, Apodaca had information only the killer would know. This afternoon, APD released a statement from the police chief saying, it is gratifying to see charges have finally been brought for the 1989 murder of Caitlin Arquette. While Paul Apodaca confessed to the killing, this case required a comprehensive review as a result of the publicity that has surrounded it for three decades. Our most seasoned detectives conducted a thorough investigation of all facts and evidence to ensure we were charging the man responsible for the senseless death. We will continue to work with the district attorney to ensure we get justice for the family of Caitlin Arquette and the entire community. You all, Arquette's mother, Lois Duncan, she was a famous writer and she wrote a book. One of the books she wrote was about Caitlin's murder and she named several suspects, including Apodaca. Now, we should say that we did reach out to his attorneys. We have not heard back. He is due back in court on Friday. Live downtown, I'm Nancy Laughlin, KOT Action 7 News. Back to